as you can probably see there's a river behind me and I'm just fishing off of the main current it is rather flooded as you can probably just tell uh, we've had some uh, quite drastic amounts of rainfall in the UK uh, the last few weeks the rivers have been up I would like to say up and down like a yo-yo but it's more up and up and up like a one-way ticket to hell <laughs> and um, yeah, the uh, water levels have subsided a bit I slipped my chest waders on decided to get down on this particular river today see if I can chance my arm and um, pick up some perch and chub I am kind of hedging my bets I, I do believe um, that's sometimes a better way to go and it just gives you two, two chances of two different species which I personally really do adore and enjoy catching as I'm sure you're very well aware from the other videos uh, the river colour is not too bad although it is rising and it is up um, it's not gravy coloured it's a kind of light greyish green and um, there's been a few fish just topping in the area behind me as I say I'm not on the main flow I'm off of like a side pool or side channel and um, there's been a few fish surfacing whether that's trout I don't know I'm hoping it's chub or perch uh, does look a nice area for them to get especially out of the main flow as it's pushing through and um, some nice undercut banking it's quite deep as well not just with the flooding it is generally quite a deep spot and at the moment I would say it's around about seven foot in depth um, normally around about four to five feet so it's quite nice considering it's a small river it's got a nice deep area which slopes off into the um, main river bed uh, today I'm just using a mixture of krill liquidized bread there's a little bit of garlic in there as well it's just for the chub mainly that and the bread obviously for the chub as well and acts as a good carrier in a little bit of flow but as you can see predominantly also there's a lot of maggots there and there's a lot of red maggot uh, which I do prefer for the perch just using that in conjunction with the uh, Shimano purist river feeder rod and just a nice cheap and cheerful cage feeder on the um, quick change run ring little tail rubber to, tail rubber to kick the um, hook link away and these are very economical you can buy these feeders in bulk on eBay and you know they're that cheap you're, you're not too sad if you lose one which is always welcome um, as I say very light just uh, filling that very lightly with uh, the liquidized bread and krill mixed with the maggots and that six pound um, diver sensor clear once again very economical I found very strong and um, what I tend to use on my lighter setup which I'm using today using that in conjunction with a size 12 Palatrax V hook so a bit of a departure from my um, normal hooks that I use my talon tips um, no particular reason for that other than they, they are um, um, better priced and also um, they do seem to have garnered some very good reviews and there's quite a few anglers that like using them and I have to say a very very sticky hook and very sharp so fingers crossed if a chub gets its um, chops around the uh, lobworm or a perch does um, it should uh, do the job and see the fish to the net they certainly look quite strong as well and uh, very nice as I say very nice and sticky very nice and sharp anyway that's the uh, sum of it really I'm gonna get a lobworm on get cast out and uh, see if I can pick up a fish or two ideally it would be nice to pick up uh, a perch it does look a nice area to pick perch and chub up so fingers crossed as I say there's been fish moving about on the surface behind me but whether that is trout as there is a few trout in this river we'll we'll have to see who knows maybe there'll be a kamikaze trout attack and uh, we'll end up with a few of those as well but um, yeah that's it I'm gonna get set up as I say the river is up but it's um looking quite nice I'll catch you in a bit tight light
well, this chap decided to take a um, leaf out of the perches book and try to become a perch. And um, it did make me wonder what I was hooked into there, but it's a very slim, long, lean pike, six pound, 12 ounces. But <laughs> fairly um, well hooked in the scissors though, and uh, quite easy to unhook. Lovely condition. Um, quite unexpected obviously and uh, just glad to have been able to land it on the six pound line. Wouldn't like to have been snapped and have a hook left in it. Uh, just goes to show there's a few more surprises along this river. Quite a few more I suspect. Uh, this is a bit of an extra food for thought. Uh, perhaps some uh, proper piking trips as well. Uh, anyway, nice but <laughs> not the perch that I was after. Anyway, let's get it slipped back. Well, I am absolutely gutted. Just had a hook pull on a lovely looking perch. Managed to get it so far in, get it to the surface and it turned on its side and its flank was absolutely gorgeous. And it looked like a female, looked like it was bulging at the sides, fit to burst. And I would estimate got to be pushing three pounds or over three and the um, hook slipped. The bite was very tentative though, very delicate and um, quite wary in a way, a little apprehensive and I decided to strike on those very light plucks and the hook hole wasn't great so that is quite gutting. Um, that's putting it uh, in the uh, nicest terms I could kick myself and not having had a better hook hold but you know there's always a positive as I always feel to take from every negative or, or anything that happens whilst you're fishing and um, it's just good to know that I'm in an area where there is perch of that calibre and um, they're willing to feed by the looks of it so you know that is that is nice but obviously it would have been great to slip the landing net under such a fish but it wasn't to be. As I say just cast back out same area lobworm tipped with a couple of uh, maggots uh, red and two whites so let's we'll see if we get another chance that uh, would be nice. So it's uh, back to watching the uh, tip rather intently and praying for that second bite of the apple and second chance. Oh well. That's why it is called fishing and not catching. But by Jove, it was a beautiful looking perch. What a perfectly formed chalk stream perch, what a lovely stripey, not quite a free, £2.13 ounces, but wow, blood red fins, absolutely gorgeous, that's fallen to a um, good old lobworm over a uh, bed of maggots and um, a few chopped worms as well, but what a stunning looking fish and that's why I do love river perch, that's strikingly coloured, wonderful markings. What a wonderful fish and what a proud dorsal. Second largest perch that I've had. Um, largest perch from this particular river as well. And um, yeah, largest perch that I've had this season. But I, I had some good vibes about this particular area of the river and wow, I bumped a fish earlier that I was playing, well, hook pulled basically, and um, felt bigger than this chap. But what a beautiful fish. Anyway. That is absolutely immaculate. Very, very nice and very welcome. Lovely dorsal there as well. Let's get it slipped back, shall we? Absolutely over the moon with that. Superb. One last look before we say goodbye. It's a lovely, strikingly coloured perker. What a beautiful fish. Is that not lovely? Can't get enough of them, they truly are the biggest of fish. And the markings are just stunning, let alone the proud marlin-esque dorsal. Anyway, let's get it slipped back. <laughs>